Hello everyone, this is the Clark Knight, and it's been a hot sec, it's been... One week since you looked at me. But yeah, I, uh, been kind of on a hiatus for Christmas, but here is another guide, and today I'm doing Araquanid. And Araquanid, very cool Pokemon, uh, Josh, one of the commenters, he suggested this, and I was like, yep, this is a great idea. So, anyways, Araquanid is a really cool Pokemon, I love his design, and his typing is actually Bug and Water, which is a solid typing, and he's going to be... Resistant to fighting, ground, steel, water, ice, weak to flying, rock, and electric. And that's pretty solid since you don't see a ton of flying, rock, and electric. You do, it's a, they're all solid typings, but the thing is, they're not like some of the main typings like fire, grass, and water that you see on a daily. And we are resistant to water and ice, uh, fighting, ground, steel, so that is big as well. Uh, more resistant than we are weak to. But uh, anyways, let's get into the stats, and Araquanid has 68 HP, 70 attacks, 92 defense, a special attack at 50, special defense at 132, and speed at 42. So you might be saying, these stats are garbage, why is this a competitive Pokemon? Well, you see the special defense is 132, that is obviously going to be his bread and butter. So he's a big defensive Pokemon, and his speed is low enough that he works really well with trick room sets, and I've been playing around with that, and I've been loving his ability to hit hard and go first with this trick room. Uh, it works well with Pokemon like Oranguru and Galissapod, which I'll get into further. I also have guides on them up if you're interested in checking those out. But yes, anyways, uh, the defensive part of him will make up for the lack of stats he has in other places, but his attack is decent, it's 70, and it will get a boost with the ability he has, which I'm getting into right now. So his abilities are Water Bubble and Water Absorb as his hidden ability, but really we're going to be focusing on Water Bubble, that's kind of his, uh, his catch as a competitive Pokemon. So Water Bubble is an ability introduced in this generation, and it is the signature ability of Dewpider and Araquanid. So what the ability does is pretty much Water Bubble halves the damage dealt by Fire Pokemon, and it cannot be burned. It also doubles the damage by Water type attacks, which is huge. So pretty much the attacks it has like Liquidation and Scald and Surf and all that, they're going to be doubled. So getting into the moves, it has a wide variety of moves. It's got Spider Web, Bug Bite, Infestation, Leech Life, Crunch, Lunge, Liquidation, Entertainment. Very uh, wide set of moves that it will learn. And then by TM, there's also a few interesting ones like Waterfall, Scald, Attract. Uh, it's got a lot. Even it's got like a little Ice Beam, Blizzard action. But uh, yeah, it's got some pretty solid moves. And here is going to be the sets I run. So to start out, I'm going to be showing you my Assault Vest Araquanid, and pretty much I'm putting it all on HP and attack, and then the leftovers on special defense. And pretty much why I'm not loading it on special defense is because I'm already relying on that heavy attack stat and the Assault Vest to kick in, so I don't really need to power that anymore. It's already going to be a special defensive wall, so if I put it into HP, it's just going to become more of this tank. Um, and then obviously put it into attack because that's how I'm going to be doing my damage is from attacking not special attacking because it's at a measly 50. Also I put the nature on adamant just because I wanted to raise that attack. You could probably throw it on something that would help out your uh, special defense if you wanted to and if you're running trick room obviously you could change it to something like sassy nature but uh yeah I'm running adamant. So I'm running assault vest so I only can select damaging moves which I did and I picked Liquidation, which is a water move, which is going to be my bread and butter since it does have that water bubble ability and it's going to do so much damage. And then I threw on Leech Life because that is it's pretty much the best bugs uh, attack stab move that he's got in case I get walled from like a type that resists water. And then just to mix it up, I got Lunge 2, which will lower its target's attack by 1. And pretty much I'd use this if I'm going like first in like a trick room set or something like that. And I wouldn't have to gain like health back. It's pretty much a alternative to leech life if I wanted to lower the attack instead of recovering health. And then I got Scald to mix it up. And this just pretty much gives me the option to special attack if I wanted to catch someone off guard. Or if they have like a wall that has a really high defense and a pretty crappy special defense. 
Scald is solid with the water bubble ability, just not nearly as powerful as Liquidation is. Then onto my Trick Room set, which is my designated Trick Room set, which is I have been using throughout the week just because I have a lot of Trick Room teams going on right now. And I got that Liquidation, obviously, Leech Life, uh, same as before. And then I got the Protect and Entertainment. These are the two new abilities. Pretty much Protect I'm using because uh, in a Trick Room set, I always just kind of scout to see what they're uh, hitting me up with first as I'm setting up the Trick Room. So yeah, Entertainment I use with my Araquanid, and I use it because I usually set up with my Galissapod, and this is what it does. So Entertainment is a special move. The target's ability changes to match the users. So my ability is Water Bubble, right? I can use Entertainment on my Galissapod, and then the Galissapod has the ability Water Bubble. If I'm able to go Water Bubble, uh, the Galissapod can set up a Swords Dance the same turn, then he has Aqua Jet, and it's going to be hitting just as hard as his first impression because of this one turn uh, hit, but it's going to be hitting every turn priority. So instead of first impression crapping out on the first turn, he's going to be hitting with this Aqua Jet every turn. And really it's just overkill and it would end a team if you can set this thing up. But uh, yeah, it's actually super cool. Um, this Pokemon has so many different uh, sets you could run. Like I could run something like unexpected, like I could throw a Poison Jab in there. I could throw any of the moves like Waterfall or Crunch. It's just, he has so many different options. I also put leftovers on this guy because I'm running the same EVs as you can see as the first set. I'm throwing it on the HP and attack. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about these sets. Let me know what kind of things you've come up with because I've gotten a lot of good feedback on these videos and you guys come up with really cool sets. So yeah, if you have anything interesting, just let me know. If you have any recommendations on what kind of videos I should do next, uh, feel free to hit me up. I'm working on a few right now that I am really excited for and that are going to be coming out in the next couple of days. So yeah, sorry for taking the week off, but I'm back into it every day making videos. If you like this kind of stuff, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. It all helps the channel. But I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.